Hello, this is a video to show you how you can copy and paste detailed animations from one side of your body to the other, effectively halving your workflow. So this is what I've got so far. I've got one arm moving and I've copied and pasted it to the other side. So that's what we're trying to achieve today. There's two aspects to this. One is just copy and pasting keyframes, but the second aspect is copying and pasting a range of animation. I'm using Blender 2.8 and the shortcut keys will be shown in the bottom corner of the window. So I'm going to select all my bones and just delete any keyframes and reset the position by Alt R and Alt G. That removes any movement transforms or rotation. So I'm back to the start here and it's worth mentioning I'm in the animation workspace and I've brought up another window. So I've got the dope sheet and the timeline. Dope sheet can be found here and the timeline can be found here as well in the animation section. So I've got two windows at the bottom there to help me out. So the first thing I'm going to do with record pressed, I'm going to go to frame zero or frame one and move my character's arm into position. I'll select all the fingers, not the thumb, and I've got individual origins selected so I can press R XX for them to rotate in their local X axis and then give them some slight bend the wrong way there. So they've got a bit of a natural bend to them and then I'll just rotate these down a little bit. So it looks more relaxed. Okay, so because we had record press, we've got a keyframe for all the fingers and thumb and the upper arm and forearm. I'm going to swing it back the other way now. So I'll go to frame about 15 and swing it back. I'm just doing this very roughly. I'll just change the position of those very slightly so there's a bit of animation or a bit of variation. Okay, so we've got an arm swing and I can copy the first keyframe, make sure I've got the different things selected that are keyframed. I'll copy that first one to somewhere around there and we've got a flowing loop. So the first way of copying a keyframe to the other side is to Control C and Control Shift V to paste. So I'll select all those items that are keyframed. I'll go to that first keyframe and press Control C. Then I'll deselect them and select the other side. So all the keyframes I need on the other side. So now if I press Control Shift V, it will paste those keyframes from this side. Do make sure your mouse is in the dope sheet window, of course. And I could go through at this point and then select the different keyframes. I'd have to then offset this keyframe so it's around here when that swings and then so forth. But what if I wanted to copy all that information from one side to the other? In order to do that, I'll go back to the other side and select that side. And you'd think it'd be a simple case of just selecting all the keyframes, Control C, and selecting this side, and Control Shift V. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So I'll just undo any changes there. Do remember that when you press Control V, it will paste it wherever the playhead on the timeline is. So in my case, I pasted it at 15 frames, and the keyframes appeared there. If I want to copy all the information, I need to go to the graph editor. So choose the graph editor, back to the other side, select that side, and select all your channels by double tapping A, and make sure they're all highlighted. Also do make sure that you haven't got anything hidden in here. So if I was working on the X channel here, and I pressed Shift H, it would hide everything else, but it won't copy those keyframes, so be careful of that. So Alt H when you're in here, and then tap A to select all. So Control C again, with my mouse in the graph editor, or you can go to key, copy keyframes. Now I'll select the other side, and I should be able to press Control Shift V with my mouse in the graph editor, and it will now paste those keyframes. But one thing to be aware of, if there's no keyframes in here, so let's delete all those keyframes, and I press Control Shift V, nothing will happen. So I have to have some sort of keyframe in here. So if I come up to here and insert keyframe for the rotation, which is the only thing I've changed, 
Now if I press Control Shift V in the graph editor, I've got that swinging action. And what would make more sense if I undo that is go to frame 15, which I think is the middle. Yes, it's the middle there. Control Shift V in the middle, and then we've got them swinging the opposite way. But if my starting keyframe was rotation and I had some location information from here, that wouldn't come across. So when you insert your first keyframe for that side, if it's got no keyframes there, make sure it's the same as the other side in terms of what's being keyframed. So two ways there of transferring data from one side to the other using the graph editor and the node editor. The graph editor will copy lots of animation and the node editor will only copy and paste flipped with a single keyframe. Do make sure you have your mouse in the graph editor when you're pasting and not in another window. What I've seen other animators do is they block out like we've done here and then they add a lot of detail to one side, so follow through and things like that, to get the timing right and then they paste all that detail over to the other side using the graph editor. So hopefully that's explained something about copying and pasting animations. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.